question, uh, did you see the uh, resistance box in your lab? No. This, this, did you saw the box, resistance box? This question is so hard. Six more questions so hard. It's not too hard. Everything is given to you. Okay, like I said, you are given an unmarked field square box, okay, which have four identity determinant at. Okay, so this is the box. I'm going to draw that. Uh, let's say this is the box, okay. And four terminal, and I don't know which terminal is A, which terminal is B, and which terminal is C, which terminal is D. Two resistors is inserted in between two terminals, and one resistor is uh, 220 ohm, and the second resistor is, uh, second resistor is, uh, 470 ohm. Okay, so two of the terminal are connected by wire. Okay, two terminal is short circuit. Okay, the four terminal on the uh, unmarked. Okay, you are giving. Okay, uh, I have instrument. I have six volt battery. Yeah. I have a hundred ohm resistor. One hundred ohm resistor. Okay. And I have a digital ammeter. Digital okay, so now the question is we need to find the terminal that which terminal is A, which terminal is B, and which terminal is C and D. Okay, this instrument is given to you. So is there any methodology which come in your mind that we will use this like this, this, then we will find the result? Um, yeah, I was thinking. Hmm? Uh, I don't know why we have to use the 100 ohm resistor, but... Actually, there is also, they said that, they said that, uh, due to this point, they give you 100 ohm resistor. Huh? Where is the 100 ohm resistor attached? Don't see no, no, they, they give you 100 ohm resistor due to this one line, okay? Actually, now in your home, the switch is like this, okay? So if you short circuit these two switches, okay. So uh, and the voltage two times. Okay, if you short circuit this these two switches, then it will get blast and the circuit breaker will get activated. Okay. Yes. But if you use hundred ohm resistor in between these two, then it will not get blast because there is a resistance. Now the the uh, supply is not getting short circuited. Okay, because there is a hundred ohm resistor is present. Which act as a load for this supply. Okay, so I will uh, make the circuit like this. That I will. Uh, this is my uh, six volt supply. Supply. Okay, and I will connect a resistor. Okay, and here I will connect a digital ammeter. So these are my two terminals. Okay, this is six volt. Yes. This is hundred ohm. And this is M meter, which give me the value of current. Okay, these are my two terminals, A and B. So I will place this uh, terminal A and B over here. Yeah. So we not A and B because these are the name of the terminal, the name of the. I will use one and B. So I will use one and B over here. What about A and B? Actually, A and B are the names okay, of the terminal. So I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm just saying that this terminal is one and two. One and two terminals are connected over here. And uh, here I have, uh, let's say I have no resistor. So this is A, this is B. No, I don't know which terminal is A, which terminal is B. Oh, okay. Yeah, the four terminals on your unmarked field are not labeled. They, they label it just to sh show me that these, uh, one resistor is connected in series, second resistor is connected in like this, and two terminal is short circuited, and other two terminals is open circuit. Okay. What is this? It's, why is it not connected, this part? Look, here and here. Actually, uh, the voltage drop across this resistor will be equal to this, these two terminals. Actually, here you, you can connect the uh, bulb or any other thing. Like, like this is your resistance box. Okay, this is your resistance box. So if you want to use this resistance, okay, in your uh, circuit, so you will uh, use a battery over here and we'll connect that battery over here. Okay, and there will be some sort of voltage drop across this resistor, and here you will get a voltage that is less than this voltage. If this is 12 volt, 
and you need six volts. In your lab, if 12 volt battery is present to you, uh, is uh, if you have 12 volt battery and you need six volt battery, okay, then you will uh, use this resistance box. And this resistance box will give you six volt over here. So here you will use, uh, let's say bulb, okay. You are using bulb, and your bulb you will get a voltage of six volt across this bulb by using the 12 volt supply. No, if you use 12 volt supply, here will be 12 volts. Here will be 12 volts. Both be 12 volts. Yes, here you will give, you will have minus 12 volt. Here you will have minus 12, minus 12, minus 12. But here you will get some sort of drop across this resistor. So here you will not get plus 12 volt. Look, let me show you here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. This will be 12 volts. This will be 6 volts. This one. And this one will be 6 volts. Yes, yes. I think. Yes. If these two, no, 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 these no. two resistors are equal, then this will be 6 volts. This will be 6 volts. This is wrong. This is wrong. No, if these two resistors are equal, then you will get 6 volts and 6 volts over here. Yeah, and this one will be six volts. This bulb will be six volts. Yeah, bulb will get six volts. So you are getting all of it will be six. Everything will be six. Everything will be six. Yeah, everything will be six. So this is the advantage of using this box, okay? But there is a, a, a disadvantage. And what is that disadvantage? Um. Uh, there will be lots of heat losses. Okay, you are using twelve volt battery. You are getting supply twelve volt supply from the uh, uh, so from the supply terminal. And uh, here you are supplying uh, six volt, so you are losing uh, six volt, six volt energy in resistor this one. Here you are losing six volt in the form of heat. Yep. So it will be good if you use capacitor over here. What's what's capacitor? Capacitor. Uh, we will study all these things later on. Okay, capacitor, inductor. What is inductor? What is capacitor? Capacitor are the storage element. Resistor is the linear element. Resistor is not the storage element. It will uh, convert, if, if you give energy to resistor, then it will convert that energy in, directly into heat. But if you give energy to uh, volt uh, inductor or capacitor, then it will not deliver energy to the environment, but it will store that energy in itself. So these two elements, capacitor and inductor, are the storage element, while resistor is the dissipating element. Yeah. Okay, so it will be good if you use capacitor over here because 6 volt will store in the capacitor and other uh, voltage you will give that to this bulb, okay, because this bulb needs 6 volt, not 12 volt. Yeah. But this question is not related to all these stuff. We just need to find the terminal, A, B, C, D. Okay, so let's say uh, I connect the terminal one over here and second terminal over here, okay. So now you need to apply the KVL, you know KVL. So this will be six will be equal to uh, I times, I is the current times 100 plus this voltage. But let's say here I am getting zero volt. Yeah, let's say here the voltage is Vx. Mm -hmm. And you will get the value of current from this ammeter. Yeah. So you will get this value, you will get this value, you will get this value. So you can find the Vx value. If Vx is equal to zero, then it means these two terminals are short circuited. Oh. Wait, I don't know. Well, draw, draw the circuit so I can see. Is it this circuit? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, I am going to bring that circuit over here. This is OCR question. Yes, and it's easier. It's easier. <laughs> no, because you, you're an electrical engineer, but I find it hard. Okay, I cannot determine it over here, okay? I try my best. Okay. It's okay. fine, it's fine, I understand. I understand. Okay. Even, even, I understand. Okay, okay. So the, these are two terminals, okay, I connect it over here. So you will apply the uh, KBL like this. So rise voltage that is equal to drop 100 ohm and uh, then some voltage also drop over here. Okay, uh, but if there is no drop of voltage across this, so it means these two terminals are short circuited. Yeah. 
Okay. Now uh, I will label it C and D because C and D are short circuits. So I will label it C and D. Yes. Okay. Then uh, I will uh, connect this uh, this circuit this circuit over here, and then I will connect, uh, use again this V X and V X is equal to I R R R is equal to what? But wait, isn't uh, are these separate? Is there like I thought here there will be another circuit coming like this with B A A, so then oh. there will be. You will, <laughs> you will make this circuit okay and will place the terminal across the two terminal of the resistor box. Oh, you so will, this part will not be connected. Yeah, you will not the you will not the value of current okay and not it's like you will not the value of current okay. So this will be a value of that current this one and. 100 times plus Vx. So you have current value times 100 and that is equal to 6. So from this equation, you can find the Vx value. If Vx is equal to 0, then it means this these two terminals are short circuited. So wait, B and D, B and D here will not affect the result. Am, am I right? B and D, I mean, sorry, B and A will. Yeah, B and D will not affect the result. Because it's a resistance box, so it will be just yeah. connected like that. Yeah. What does this mean? This simple here. Okay, it will affect the. Uh, it will affect the. Okay, this is very good question. Good question. Okay, it will affect the these two terminals B and D. If this is short circuited like this. Oh. Yeah. Very good question. Um, I'm I don't know. I. I get it. Oh, okay. 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 If it's short circuited. Yeah, so, so let's say this is short circuit. So I short circuit this, okay, and I uh, go C and D, okay. Now I I pick this uh, circuitry, okay. Uh, let's say I will. Okay, you will. So pick... it... Yeah, you will. So pick... if it's A and, if it's A and C, um, then we will see zero uh, current. Right? Now uh, Vx is now Vx is this one, okay. This is my Vx, okay. So. Uh, 6 is equal to I100 and Vx is equal to IR. So I have current value, I have this value, okay, so you will find the R value. If your R is equal to 220 ohm, then you will get that this is my this resistor. Like the resistor uh, between D and B is, that, uh, if you get the resistor R1, then uh, you, you will, this will be your B, uh, D and this will be your B. Like this will be your R1. Perfect. V X will be zero. V V is actually V is zero. V X. Because okay, look, look here, six equals hundred I plus uh, plus I V X, right? Yes. Uh, uh, no, I R, not I V X. I R. V X is the voltage. <laughs> This is clear. Wait, right? I can't read it. What does it say? 6 equals 100i plus 1. Okay, I am going to write it again. Okay, now I am going to connect the terminal over here. Okay, so here you will get uh, 6. That is equal to drop over here. Uh, okay, I will draw it. It will be 6 volt. Then here you will get drop. That is 100 ohm. And here you will connect M meter, which will give you current value. So 6, vo 6 volt is equal to 100 ohm times current. Which is equal to I, which is equal to voltage. B is equal to I R. R is hundred ohm. Plus drop across B and D. And let's say that is V X. And V X will be equal to I R. And I value is uh, the value of this M meter, this digital M meter. Yes. And R. R is the resistance between these two. Here the R value I, is equal to zero. I is I is constant. Okay, yeah, yeah. I is constant, uh, and I can find the I value from this data M meter. So from this, you will get R value. If R is equal to 220 ohm, so you will un uh, you will get that this resistance, resistance between B and D is R1. But we have two unknown we have two unknown variables, current and resistance. So we need another equation. No, oh, current value. You will get the value of current from this digital M meter. That's why it's given to you. Oh, that's. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So if it if it is between B and D, then 220 ohms will be measured. Yeah, 220. It depends. It may be 220 or uh, 470 ohm. 
And let's say two. Oh, yeah. yeah, let's say two twenty ohm. You get two twenty ohm. No, if no, if it's between B and D, it has to be two twenty ohm. If it's between A and B, then it's four seventy ohm. Oh wait, no, no, no. That that oh. is not specifically given to you. That this is. Oh, sorry, sorry. I thought in the question is given. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine. Okay, so that is C and D, and this will be let's say that is two uh, twenty ohm. So the resistor between uh, D and B, D and B is two uh, twenty ohm. Now I need to connect it over here. So same, if you get resistor value four seventy, so you will get the resistor between B and C is four seventy, and then you will connect these two terminals, and here you will get the value of current that is equal to R will be zero. R no, R will be infinite. It's short circuit, no. Now, now C and A. This is A. C and A. This is open circuit, and in short circuit. We have resistor value is equal to zero. In open circuit, resistor value is equal to infinity. Oh. And here, the current value is equal to zero in open circuit. In short circuit, the voltage value is equal to zero. You need to note it down. Note it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, When R equals zero, when R equals infinity, R equals zero. Yes, and that is known as open circuit, right? Open circuit. But I, yeah, but I thought that when you put a wire here, it will become closed circuit. That's why I thought. Yeah, it will become closed circuit. But uh, actually, I, I I told you that if this is short circuit, then you you will get different value. But this is not short circuit. It will be short circuit. No, it will not be short circuit. Actually, I short circuited these two terminals just to. Uh, actually, your question was that either uh, the uh, voltage across these two terminals will be affected by the voltage across these two terminals or these two terminals or these two terminals. So I told you that it will be affected by the uh, these two terminals if it is short circuited. Yeah. Because then there is also an, another closed path for the current. Okay, current will come like this from the uh, supply voltage, six volt supply voltage. Then the current will pass two path. One is this one, and second one is this one. Because this path is closed over here, but now this path is not closed, so that's why this 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 will not affect the value of voltage across these two terminals. Yeah. So when it's open circuit, it it won't affect. Only when it's short circuit, then it affects. Yeah, it will affect because then they will uh, current will see another path, another closed path. So current will also flow on that path. But how how will you ensure this part C A will remain as a open circuit? Because when you connect the wire, it will become short circuit. Yeah, if you connect the external wire, then it will be short circuit. Actually, we keep actually in resistance boxes. Okay, the one terminal is the open circuit because we need to give supply across across their two terminals, and we get the output across the other two terminals. Actually, if you uh, check the. Uh, uh, Resistance box in your lab, okay. So that should be like this. This is the box, okay. And uh, here you will get lots of key. Yeah. Did, you, did you saw this resistor box? Yeah, I've seen the build. Electrical engineers use it. Yeah. So inside, uh, okay. So you, only you will see these keys, okay. And uh, resistor will be resistor wire will be connected to these two keys like this. So uh, there is also uh, another part that if you want to short circuit this, these two key, then there will be zero resistance across these two terminals yeah. because current always follow the least resistor path. You know about that current always follow yeah. the least least resistor path. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to uh, make this resistance zero, okay, then you will just short circuit it. What is this? This is just a short circuit terminal. It will be present on all. Keys. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, if you want to short circuit that resistor, then you will uh, turn the key toward that uh, turn that. I get it. Yes. But uh, so when you, when you measure it, you will put the six volt meter like this, look, like that, and then this is six volt, and then you will also put a hundred ohm resistor here. Yes. Yes. So it will no longer be closed circuit. You see, it will be closed. It will be closed, not open. Now it's closed circuit. Is this how you measure? I don't know if this is how you measure the the resistance. 
I don't know. ஒருத்தர்ஸ் <laughs> then the circuit will be here you will get resistor this is the voltage and here you will get ammeter and like this so this 6 volt that will be equal to the current which is uh, given by i ammeter times 100 plus voltage across this which is uh, i times r1 plus voltage across this which is i times r2 okay and that's will okay so if you uh, if 6 from this if you get 6 volt then it means this is open circuit but it's not labeled the four terminals on your unboxing box are not labeled yes it's not labeled so you will uh, if you if you if this equation gets satisfied then it means this this these two terminals are the open circuit open uh, these two terminals are the, these two terminals are open okay and you will label it a and c Oh. Yeah, you will do it like this. Wait, let me carry on. You will put six equals. Uh, wait. Ah. Uh. Yes. But you need to measure. You need to measure across here. This is not. This doesn't make sense. Actually, if there is some. Actually, if, let's say uh, something is present over here. Okay. Let's say uh, this resistor is present over here. so the then the equation will not be like this equation will be 6 will be equal to i times 100 uh plus i times r okay so you will get the r value and that will be either 220 ohm or 470 ohm but yeah, if, so if you could, if you connect your cross bd you're saying like that yeah yeah it is same as we connect it across b and d so, yeah 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 it's a flip over you could yeah if if you get the same value 6 is equal to 6 because this is uh, this represent the law of uh, conservation of energy we are supplying 6 volt and we have three resistors so 6 volt must be divided in between these two resistors three resistors but we only have two resistors so we need to adjust this yeah three resistor we have yes not two resistors okay yeah three here one three here resistors. one here. so the uh, adjusting uh, element will be current in this case the current value should be such like that the uh, voltage drop across all these resistors is equal to 6 Yeah, because it's pa- parallel circuit. It's in series. So we'll draw it again. The other one was a mistake. We need to draw it here, not here. Okay, so if you draw that over here, then it will be like this. Okay, so you will get six is equal to hundred i plus i r. so this is given to you this is given to you you will get i r value that will be either 220 volt 220 ohm and or 470 ohm got it yeah yeah